Hello Internet, welcome to the Tips and Tricks series on Touch Designer. These video series are designed to cover specific aspects of Touch Designer. Since this is the first video, please leave comments with any basic things you've searched for online but couldn't find. For example, I had a hard time installing Python libraries, but after much trial and error, I found an efficient method. I've successfully installed the 10 most used libraries without any issues. Let's get started. 2 minutes chapter. Step 1. Open command prompt in Windows by using the Windows key and typing CMD. Step 2. Find the folder where Touch Designer is installed and double-click on the bin folder. Step 3. Copy the full path of this folder's location and paste it in the Windows command prompt using CD space and the path you previously copy. Step 4. Make sure you have entered the directory correctly. Step 5. Use the following command to see which libraries are already installed in the folder. Step 6. Use this command to install the next library. Press Enter and wait for it to install. Step 7. Run the command again to see the list and make sure the new library appears in the installation list. Now in many cases, Windows will ask you to create a new path for this library. Do the following. Step 1. Press Windows key R, type the following command, and click OK. Step 2. Go to the Advanced menu, choose Environment Variables, and double-click on the Path option. Step 3. Click on New and add the following path shown on the screen, then click OK. And finally, we'll make sure we can use the Touch Designer libraries. Step 1. Open a text dat and write the code shown on the screen. Step 2. Open the text port and dat dialog. You can do this with the shortcut Alt-T. Step 3. Execute the code by selecting the text dat and, and pressing Ctrl R. Step 4. Check that you get this message in the text port. That's it. If you want all the commands to copy and paste, you can find them on my Patreon in the free members section. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. See you soon.